I actually became an ET nurse in 1973. I became an ET nurse in 1981. In 1984, I became a WOC nurse. I became a uh, WOC nurse in 1986. I graduated from Emory University at that time in a restomal therapy nurse education program in 1993. When I first started in this specialty practice, we were called the we were called ET nurses. I don't really like to be bossed around and I don't like to boss others around. So my sister actually found this specialty years ago and said this would be a great job for you because you would be very independent. The biggest difference in our practice today is the amount of evidence-based practice we now can have. We've had tremendous strides in research, we've had strides in developing our own guidelines uh, for best practice, and I think it has really guided us to a much more professional level than we had been. Uh, in the early years, we only had gauze and tape for dressings primarily. In the 70s, we saw a big explosion of more advanced dressings to take care of wounds. Nurses started becoming more involved. You could be an LPN, a licensed practical nurse, or a registered nurse. And over time, that became the preferred person because you had the nursing background to help you, especially as our role expanded. Technology was something that was very foreign to us in the 80s. Computers to us were very foreign back in the day, so we've come such a long way. I think what I noticed when I first entered the specialty, um, I was learning about pressure ulcers and a lot of wound management, but as the 80s crept on, the focus really changed heavily into pressure ulcer management and looking for support surfaces, and so there was a shift a little bit away from ostomy management and teaching a little bit more into the wound care arena. As ET nurses in, in the 80s decade, we used to carry all our supplies around with us because it wasn't readily available in the units. And one of our friends actually had an electric cart that she used. She rode around on it and carried all our supplies in a basket and could even carry the foam, the overlay foam mattresses with her. The early 90s was a really a uh, a game changer for all of us, I think, because they finally changed the name from International Association for, for Interstormal Therapy to WCN, Wound Ostomy Incontinence Nurses. Um, and that, I remember that conference like it was yesterday, the uh, debates that went on and the controversy and the people taking sides and being angry. One of the biggest things I saw changing in the early 90s when I became a WC nurse was the fact that we no longer kept patients in the hospital as long as we did. And it made teaching them much more difficult and it meant that follow-up had to be much better planned. In the 2000s, I would have to say probably the biggest change was evidence-based practice. And that has really helped us develop our specialty through research base. Uh, the 2000s have been a really time of change for everyone. There are new technologies, new skills, new equipment to work with, new products to use on patients. There have been greater restraints from a, from a standpoint of insurance coverage, but it has been a very challenging time and we've seen some wonderful um, improvements in life expectancy, quality of life, and that kind of thing for our patients. The WOCN Society has grown exponentially over the past 30 years. We've opened the membership into three different areas of wound, ostomy, and continence. And we've also started the foot care education and the wound treatment associated education. And that has helped our membership grow. The Society has moved forward as a professional entity. We have more members. Uh, the WCN Society is very well recognized on a national level. I think one of the best things that I got out of this career was the relationship that I was able to develop with so many patients over time. I saw, saw such courage on the part of patients facing overwhelming situations, family member support, and that's just a great thing for us as WOC nurses. I don't think we've ever lost that human touch. I think we're all probably the most caring, loving group of professional 
people that I've ever come in, in contact with. I think being a WSC nurse for me um, has been the greatest gift I've been given in my life. We have become a society that is much more professional in appearance and we have developed some clout. We have a voice that was not heard initially and I think that has been one of the greatest things we've accomplished lately. The WOC specialty has left its mark on me by allowing me to reach out in a very special way to all the patients that I've cared for over the years. And I don't know any other specialty that's able to do that. Thank you.